Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? Would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your pro brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? As they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Always at your service, Sir Galahad. This way, please. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy, but do be careful. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. The man is an idiot! Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Hmm. 
All gibberish to me. Nicola, you sly dog. Uh, Sir Galahad! Please, this way. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Ah, excellent. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if... Uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Your skills never cease to amaze me. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept, always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. Stay vigilant, all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quelle joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. A lone chapel stood just there, offering sanctuary to travelers. That was before even my time. The city walls had yet to come up. Now you can smell white chalk, you see. <clears throat> Nothing is as it used to be, Sebastian. True. The order, least of all.
Your rendezvous at the hospital. Stay on your guard. Understood. This way, monsieur. The ashes are still warm. That's it, Kev. Kev. Come on, knock the stuffing out of him. Oh, you want more? <laughs> He's bleeding like a stuck pig, that one. Doesn't look good. He ain't getting up. Stay down, you stupid git. Queen! Down with the Queen! Down with Empire! 
Down with the Queen! Down with Empire! Down with the Queen! Detriments, they call you. A disgrace to the Empire. I say, it's the Empire that's a disgrace. The Queen sits in her palace on a fat arse, drinking East India tea and living off the sweat of other people's brows. Your sweat. Your blood. And how does our beloved Queen show her consideration for us poor mortals? By sending her precious knights to prowl our streets and violate our owns in the name of law and order. Where is the law, I ask you? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you where. Dead and buried! And where there is no law, the people must the rise job? up! I don't know! Rise up and fight! Reclaim their rights! She's dead! Because of you! <laughs> 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 Aristocratic hands. It's all right. There's no need to be afraid. How could I have known he was a ripper? He was just another bloke. He killed another one last night. I didn't know. Leave her be, Monsieur. I didn't, didn't know. Stop. Don't worry. You're safe now. <laughs> 